I've been vegetarian for two years. Then I cracked. Is it even bad to eat meat? Just even a little bit. Does being vegetarian make you better than everyone else? Welcome to Bobsy Rants. Hey guys! In this podcast, we're gonna be talking about my personal journey of being vegetarian, all the good stuff and the bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is her personal invention. Yeah. <laughs> and we call this atomic shots. It's a mixture of ginger, lemon. I also added some guava. There was no turmeric, so I wasn't able to add turmeric. But Really? Yeah. But normally you add turmeric and atomic shot. That, that's the holy trinity. <laughs> oh. The holy grail. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. I also add a little honey so that there's a little sweetness and it just glides through your throat, you know what I mean? Ah, you can feel the power. <laughs> right, honey? A backstory of this atomic shot. So, last year, we've been getting sick too often. Too Probably often. Probably once every two months. We've been getting like some colds, uh, yeah. really annoying stuff that last year have been a little bit challenging from that angle yeah and then <laughs> this year around new year you kind of invented uh, this drink oh, uh, yeah. right atomic uh, <laughs> shot yeah, I mean. uh, and it's packed with again ginger turmeric uh, all the good stuff mm, it's just very good for your immune system just boost it <laughs> is it a coincidence or it's really effective <laughs> but this year We've literally been just healthy all throughout. Healthy, like, happy. No sickness. Yeah, definitely. Only, like to be honest, mm. only last week uh, I got a little bit of colds, but I didn't really like feel uh, that sick. Yeah, so, yeah, that definitely so, was manageable. Yeah, it was like several days of uh, just uh, not really feeling that well, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, so I mean, maybe, it's not a magic drink. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> but maybe, I mean, again, uh, uh, because of this, I did not actually experience like, you know, a very heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> Some <laughs> yeah. serious stuff. You know? Yeah, I'm already much better. So yeah. definitely, I love it. Yeah. Let's continue. So guys, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it's very educational for me as well because I we haven't dated when he was a vegetarian, right? And he just tells me stories about when he was vegetarian and I'm not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm so glad I haven't met him during that phase of his life, you know, because, uh, you know, we just have a different view on it. But I actually want to know more about it and mm. your perspective since you've lived it for how many years? I've been actually vegan for about four months and uh, vegetarian afterwards for almost two years. Wow, well, uh, honey. Yeah. Really? Like yeah. So, so about two years all in all, I would say. I've been on that journey. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the reason why I uh, became a uh, vegetarian, because I've been also tagged as a spiritual man, <laughs> <laughs> aware of, uh, you know, this movement and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and people who are vegan or vegetarian, but I never just decided, mm. but I was kind of like uh, very curious about it. I guess just because uh, I've been going through some uh, phase in my life, kind of like spiritual, I've been, uh, I've been doing lots of different stuff mm -hmm. yoga meditation you know part of this community is also uh you know being vegetarian or vegan yeah it just it just part of the <clears throat> like environment like the vibe yeah 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 mm. so yeah uh, i had this uh, on my mind and then finally i kind of like decided to you know just to try it myself yeah and uh, in my case it was a very abrupt thing it's just like in one day i just really cut it off Completely? Yeah, like it wasn't completely. even a transitional yeah, thing? Yeah, I just like, from day one, I, wow. I uh, cut, <laughs> cut off everything, the, the meat and wow. uh, like all the animal products. So yeah. pretty much my beginning was actually a vegan, mm. uh, not even vegetarian, yeah. but a vegan. So the difference between uh, vegan and vegetarian is that vegans absolutely do not consume any, anything from uh, uh, animals. Also no dairy. No so, dairy? No dairy. So because it's coming from the animals, right? Cheese? So so no, no, no cheese, no, no, no. no butter. No, no. Uh, you know, some some people are going hardcore, even they're not using uh, let's say honey because it's coming from the bees, you know? Huh? E even like that. Yeah. Wow, honey. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely very interesting, huh? No animal products. While uh, vegetarians uh, 
they consume uh, dairies. So you can have some cheese, mm. some butter. So it's a little, it's uh, some eggs, as an example. So it's <laughs> I a little you said easier. Some ass. <laughs> 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 Where yeah. is my mind going with yeah. this? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's cover the things I loved about uh, being uh, vegan or vegetarian. Uh, this is nice. Okay. Just because it was an abrupt uh, thing and uh, because I'm not actually cooking myself. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was single during uh, that time. Definitely, I had to kind of like learn real uh, fast what to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, you know, because, yeah, we it don't was, cook. Yeah, I don't cook and uh, everywhere I go, like most of the meals are like, you know, coming with uh, animal products, right? Yeah, so yeah. it was a very challenging thing, uh, thing uh, to go through. And uh, yeah, I've started exploring and uh, what I came across is different uh, cuisines. So I got across basically Indian cuisine, uh, Mediterranean, mm. uh, uh, like uh, mi Middle East, like Ooh, you know, Arabic, uh, oh, like uh, spices, Jewish, you know. know. Mm -hmm. I was uh, finding those uh, beautiful meals, even though they they were without uh, any meat. I was still uh, finding them very tasty. Mm, yeah, uh, the sauce, the spices they're using. Mm. Mm. Even right now, because of that experience, I'm I'm still basically yeah uh, having yeah. those <laughs> meals, you know. Yeah, maybe I it's mean, part it's part of our cuisine. Of course, you know? honey. Of course, you know. First date, like how many times you have to <laughs> feed me a lagubi? <laughs> how many times? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've been going to that Indian <laughs> place. I'm so. Yeah. I was like, is there anything else? Because I think you were also like, you know, kind of having that residue. I think when we were mm. dating. So it's not like you were fully looking for... You were eating meats during the time we were together, but I feel yeah. like he still was choosing, you know, those vegetarian meals. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the Indian, the, you know, Mediterranean, like the lentils and stuff yeah. like that. And yeah, I mean, to me, I'm like, how, how much of this I can eat? Like, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Another good thing about uh, that phase was uh, my uh, weight control. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah honey. I saw uh, pictures. During during that phase, uh, I actually lost a lot of uh, weight. I think I went from 86 kilograms all the way down to like 77. So I actually lost even more than I wanted. Definitely not eating meat in my uh, own experience uh, made me lose weight. And, uh, you know, it is it is actually kind of cool that you're not gaining anything extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, exactly, honey. And you're very lean during yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah. Basically... My bowel movement was through the roof. <laughs> yeah. How many yeah. times do you go in a day? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. Just looks like you, you no. know. You, I was even surprised. These are grains. These yeah. are, you know, yeah. fibers. So I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, lots of fibers. Mm. And uh, I was even surprised. The amount of... <laughs> the amount of dump. <laughs> I had to release. I was like, wow, I just eat a salad. And then look, <laughs> look at that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? You know? <laughs> I guess I had a bit of a storage unit down there. No, I can understand because your digestive system probably is mm. working very uh, efficiently. Yeah. Because it doesn't, it's not breaking down really, you know, thick proteins and stuff like Definitely. that. Definitely. Meat, if you're eating like uh, beef or something like that or a steak, I mean, come on, it takes days for that to digest, mm. you know, so. Probably some of the stuff is being there for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like the salami, the teeth. <laughs> okay, right. wow, hmm. cool. Honey, you haven't had that strong belief of like killing animals or something like that. Because I think that's part of being vegan and vegetarian, hmm. that, yeah. that, that strong belief to save life. You uh, had that face that you had that belief as I well? Had, I had a little bit of uh, empathy, but I wouldn't say that I was, uh, you know... Protesting and stuff. Like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely I wasn't protesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't have a strong <laughs> belief uh, about the animals, not too much empathy, yeah. uh, you know, just, just a little bit. So, so it was yeah. all about the health for you, yeah. like, internally? I what? think I was more driven by, uh, by my own health and uh, some spiritual path. Yeah. <laughs> so probably that was my uh, motivation. Oh, gotcha, honey. Okay, yeah. now, because, you know, we, we got to decipher these things. There are different yeah. motives of different things, you know. Let's move on to the things uh, I didn't like during yeah. that uh, phase. Uh -huh. Limited uh, choices in my own uh, experience. You know? Yeah, because you don't cook. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm not cooking. And uh, everything I had to, to order 
uh, or to to go basically to you know restaurants, restaurants to yeah. different places pretty much every single time i would have to customize to tell them like okay don't put this one don't don't, don't put that ingredient so my life would be just like that already like every single wow. time i had to eat i had to go through this so kind much of process fuss, so yeah. much fuss just mm. to eat out <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, honey. Well, when you're a vegetarian, you have more options. You're, you're not that uh, restrictive. So I found, yeah, after four months, that being vegetarian in my case is just uh, much more uh, convenient, Than and being uh, I would be still basically satisfied with what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, eating dairy is uh, like cheese and butter. Uh, it just open up like so many. So many options already. Yeah, 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 that's uh, right, maybe. Yeah, it's you know, no longer delimited. I could already order meals, but uh, just say, do not put any meat. What I also uh, noticed that uh, it is quite expensive to be vegetarian if you're not cooking. Of course, so, yeah. Because I, what, what I was also doing, I was uh, kind of like going to these uh, organic shops, uh, you know, uh, Know, vegan maybe uh, <laughs> restaurants like pre-cooked vegan uh, stuff for some reason uh everything is just overpriced in there like uh, they preach about basically uh, like spirituality mm. and um, eating healthy but yeah you just order a salad and then it, it's it's cost like it costs it costs like a steak <laughs> <laughs> yeah. people just go to overpriced places i guess because for me if i wanted to go vegetarian or vegan mm -hmm. i could just uh do, use the same ingredients i used to cook with the one that i find in metro mm -hmm. in the supermarket you know the kangkong the the spinach like this doesn't cost much mm -hmm. right but i feel like people really deliberately go to places that are expensive and that's why like it, it turns people off when people talk about these things if uh, i would uh, cook at home or if i would uh, date you during that phase and you would be on board with me uh, then uh, <laughs> maybe it would be cheaper but yeah, uh, yeah the places i was uh, going i was not looking for a fancy place but it just turned out that you know if it's an organic store or anything like this then yeah suddenly it's just like much more expensive okay the next thing about his vegan or vegetarian phase is to be honest looking right now in hindsight yeah uh i really noticed that uh, during that phase i was the most grumpy quite a bad mood more often than yeah, usual honey. i'm I not sure all the time as well but i'm not sure if this, if it's related to my uh, diet or overall like uh, my phase in life maybe it's a combination of everything maybe it know? is a combination maybe it's a coincidence but uh, to be honest uh, that's what happened to me so during that phase i would be the most uh, grumpy and even my friends would notice that they would actually like you know kind of uh, check you, know, you out on check, it yeah check me out sometimes and I would be in a defensive mode, but yeah. like, you know, when I was at home, like thinking about it, I was like, hmm, yeah, probably I'm, I, I was too much. <laughs> yeah. At work, I would notice I would uh, actually like, you know, uh, burst out more often than, uh, than not. Mm. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've noticed during uh, that phase. Yeah, honey, I've heard this so many times. It's such a fuss constantly. Fuss, fuss, fuss. You know, you, you're walking on eggshells. Like mm. I remember I, I did have a vegan friend back then and she was very also moody and um, angry and you know every time you just talk about eating out or something like that and mm. you talk about this place like a nice steak place and you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know so mm. <laughs> it kind of like, like it turns you off the energy rubs off on you and in a negative way so yeah, yeah. so moving forward uh, uh, and touch basing exactly what you're uh, mentioning right now uh, another thing which I've noticed during that phase is uh, I became quite judgmental. I was thinking about myself that I am uh, very right, that whatever I'm doing, that's uh, that's uh, the correct basically path the for correct, everybody. Yeah, mm. yeah exactly. And uh, I was uh, kind of judging everybody else uh, because they were not doing the same thing. Yeah, and, like uh, really, really bad judging too, <laughs> honey. Well, like uh, uh, in their face, like telling them, don't eat this. Well, I wouldn't really like, you know, go out and uh, like, <laughs> argue with people, but... <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. Do you eat meat or not? <laughs> uh. But uh, with my immediate circle, with the people I was basically interacting, then definitely <laughs> I was uh, talking about it and... Uh, Preaching. Yeah. And another thing which I've noticed that uh, I was not only judgmental, but uh, I would be also preaching 
uh, about it and I would try to convert uh, people again my immediate circle so I would just uh, give them the examples uh, talk how bad it is to eat meat and yeah how cool is my diet and all of that stuff so yeah. I would really try to convert uh, everybody around me uh, I would also preach a little bit on social media. I would post a lot about it. So. Yeah, honey. Yeah, yeah. Were you one, one, mm. one of those renters on the comment section I, as well? I think so. <laughs> Maybe not really on the comment section, but I was uh, probably a little bit more active on social media in terms of like posting about it. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah honey. I would not go like you know to to other people's pages and <laughs> and rent <laughs> rent there. <laughs> but yeah, on my own uh, page, then definitely I would. <laughs> I would be active there. Mm -hmm. Looking uh, back, uh, like I don't really like uh, we myself. Were, yeah. Oh, yeah, during that. Uh, yeah, phase. that's true. And again, it, it takes time for you to hmm. to kind of like see, reflect on who you were back then. I mean, I'm pretty hmm. sure everyone can relate. It takes for growth to kind of understand and see and accept knowledge, even that it's hmm. it's quite cringy and quite sad and and bad to see that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if. Uh, my diet was the cause of uh, all of those uh, negative uh, things. Uh, again, maybe yes, or maybe it was just a coincidence. Maybe it was just like a phase I was going through and it kind of like, you know, coincided. Yeah, but... Uh, so who knows? Yeah, yeah, I understand. That was my own experience. Uh, uh, if uh, there are many other people who can relate, uh, then maybe it is, you know... It is kind of like... <laughs> because, I mean, come on. If it is in, a pattern. It's then. a pattern. I mean, yeah. if it's coinciding with your beliefs during a time and hmm. you're experiencing this, I mean, there's no other reason for it, no? And also, if there is somebody mm -hmm. who's kind of experiencing the complete opposite, like actually very vibrant mm -hmm. and like, like really honestly, right? And not just for show, um, then would be nice to see that. At around two-year mark... Uh, I think uh, my uh, beliefs about it uh, were kind of like fading, uh, fading away mm -hmm. and it also coincided with the fact that I moved uh, back uh, to Moldova from, from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Surrounded with family. Yeah, surrounded with uh, my family and I stayed there for uh, a year. And yeah, my family, they're, they're just, uh, you know, they're just regular people, they're not... Uh, vegetarians i mean yeah. uh, meat have been part of our life uh, basically since the all, beginning of all, time all throughout right mm -hmm. and uh, our diet there is pretty balanced i mean we we eat you know all kinds of uh, foods very yeah. diverse yeah, yeah. very diverse so i actually like you know our cuisine is like one of the best to me uh, my family knew about me that i'm uh, like vegetarian uh, but they would have a little bit uh, hard time in terms of like you know when we would have dinners uh, you know, they would have a hard time a little bit like, you know, separating and uh, cooking maybe something uh, <sighs> something different, you know, not including basically <laughs> meat. <laughs> why, you know? have do, why have to do this to your parents, honey? <laughs> yeah. And especially my, my mother, since she didn't see me for, for so long, for her cooking is just uh, basically expressing her, her love. love. Yeah, uh, as, a, uh, as a woman, Babsy, and as yeah. your wife, the same thing. I would be also sad yeah. if you didn't like my cooking just because <laughs> of your beliefs. Yeah, you know, so, so uh, I would basically see that she's having a little bit of hard time and she would be sad that she cannot like, you know, yeah, give I mean. uh, all her best stuff to me. Slowly, I was kind of like uh, uh, transitioning back, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> just uh, I was, back and forth. Back I was like, forth. I was like uh, mm. okay, mom, let me, let me just have chicken. Like, let me just start with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Not even an egg. Oh, yeah, an egg is okay. Yeah. Egg, okay. I would start eating uh, chicken a little bit, and I would notice that I'm actually not feeling any any fight within myself that I'm eating chicken. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah so yeah. I would kind of be okay with it. Uh, I also agreed on uh, fish. For a year that I stayed there, I was uh, eating already chicken and fish. Not every day, but I would say like a couple of days uh, a week. Well, yeah. You just need a little push, huh? <laughs> then I came back to the Philippines and uh, I met you. Oh, <laughs> you're definitely not vegan or vegetarian. <laughs> you're just, yeah. You just eat a buffalo and you're with me, honey. And yeah, basically, <laughs> gradually, I was uh, eating more and more meats. Uh, With var variations, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, variations. Yeah. Yeah, and again, I would uh, discover that I don't have any internal battle uh, about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, honey. Uh, confirm even right now that our diet is very balanced. Uh, very balanced. We eat different kind of uh, meats all throughout the week. Every day uh, is a different yeah. meat. 
I don't like extremes. I don't like to overly eat meat. I don't like to overly mm-hmm. eat vegetables. I want to mesh these two together, right? Yeah. In a in a nice, balanced, harmonious, non gluttonous way of of indulging, right? You're happy, but at the same time, it's constricted to mm. save you, yeah. you know, so that it, it's not too much for you. Because I feel mm. like at, at the end of the day, like these beliefs are two extremes, right? And some also like just <clears throat> eat pure meats, like the the raw meat eaters <laughs> you know like that one yeah, like that's another extreme. that's another that ha- that's another story guys i love our meals uh, uh you know we eat uh, once a day pretty much and uh, when we eat it's like a feast uh, it's really like a lot of foods and a lot of veggies uh, greens uh, spices and meat and Aromatics. We, we diversify meat every day is something different it can be fish uh, another day is pork then beef then chicken yeah. i remember you mm-hmm. never really wanted pork like when we yeah. were dating you were just literally seafood or chicken yeah actually i started eating, eating pork uh, <laughs> just like maybe several months ago and beef right? And then beef, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only with me, honey. <laughs> because I cook it in a way where he likes it. That's why I kind of created Bobsy Cooks, right? Da-da-da-da, Bobsy Cooks. <laughs> because I feel like, you know, elevating dishes is really something that I people should should do. If you want to convert somebody, it has to be through actions. You just present it, let them try it, and if they like it, they like it. You know what I mean? Like that's mm. to me, that's more influential than like eat this. You would yeah. like beef. Actually, that's what I want to talk right now. Like uh, finishing uh, this podcast. Yeah. Even uh, right now, I do support people who are, who are not eating uh, meat or who are not eating animal products. So vegetarian people, vegan people. Uh, to me, this is uh, something uh, actually very empathetic because you're not eating uh, animals right? yeah, yeah yeah it's uh, respectable in a way yeah right? so, so I also to like, me to like me this Muslim. is a beautiful thing mm-hmm. if you can do it then definitely and even right now i'm okay to uh, to have days where i don't eat any meat i mean i can mm-hmm. go to indian place they have a variety of uh, vegetarian options and i love them yeah uh, the holy trinity remember it's uh Alo gobi, uh, yellow dal tatka, and uh, yellow dal gatka. <laughs> I can never uh, talk. I can never. Biryani rice. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> to me, this is like such a perfect uh, combo. Yeah. And then many other cuisines they're having also, like you know, just mm, delicious uh, uh, vegetarian uh, meals. I agree, honey. Uh, the concern I have yeah. is so many being judgmental, and they are trying to enforce this movement, uh, not by thing. inspiration but uh by by force okay they just basically argue with everyone they they Angry, preach yeah. uh they're really trying to to have a hardcore approach and if you think about it can you really make somebody change their whole lifestyle by by force, force? yeah you cannot it never, it, it, never. It, it doesn't matter if, if it's about the food or anything else it's like talking Your about beliefs, religion yeah. or po- or politics, politics right yeah. it's a very strong uh uh, belief and way of uh, life, life yeah. so by by going there and arguing with people it's not gonna happen and that's what I've noticed with me yeah. and so many others and that's why it's not working but if you can do that by inspiration yeah that's the way to go and I remember even uh, me uh, back in the day when I was vegetarian uh, some of my friends uh, they would actually try to eat what I eat because we would go out like in a restaurant, right? So they would order kind of the same uh, meal just to see what's up, yeah, you know? Yeah. And some of them they were like, wow, like I actually like it. Yeah. I don't mind actually having uh, this kind of meal. Yeah. Of course, they're not uh, converting to being vegetarian, but whenever they were hanging out with me, I mean, I would see them actually eating vegetarian they meals. They know that, you know, it's mm. satisfactory, you know, even mm. though you're eating vegetables, you still choose the one that's actually very good in the palate yeah it's not just vegetables mm. you can have a nice meal like you know right. uh, like with grains and uh, mushrooms everything is big yeah, yeah. Uh, you know yeah, especially with me mm. and when we were dating you know he always mm. brings me and again the holy trinity you know, yeah. you guys. and i actually liked it i actually loved mm. it you know the the spices and everything you can eat it without any meat because the spices are so overpowering that it's already the highlight of the meal Right, mm. and I wouldn't have ever ever come across it if I haven't been been with you. Yeah. Like I would still be eating my Filipino foods, you know, <laughs> with a lot mm. of meat and stuff like that. So um, to me, I'm like, well, wow, this is what vegetarians and vegans eat. Actually, pretty good. Thank God, India. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, that's what's up. That's my uh, journey. 
As of right now, uh, I eat uh, pretty much everything and I love your uh, cooking, I appreciate it. Mm. Uh, I'm super satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about balance in my opinion. Balanced diet. To me as well, I love this podcast because now I get to understand more like the difference between the two and yeah just like uh, people's reasons why they kind of get into these things and the coincidences and it just opens your eyes and, and mind to to like different things different likes of people but at the end of the day it always always boils down to influences you know i feel like at the end of the day if you influence in a positive way you'll get the positive returns if you influence in a forced way guess what you're gonna get resistance it's just science you know so yeah thank you honey for sharing your story you're welcome <laughs> all right so are there any vegans and vegetarians uh if so please uh, comment down below uh, your journey, uh, your opinion on this topic, yeah. what you have to say about it, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, it's all welcome. It's all welcome in our page. We don't yeah. judge. We just want to create a, a good discussion around it and have more empathy and understanding of what people are going through. And hopefully we can all understand each other, right? That's, that's, that's the goal here, is just purely understanding. <laughs> This been it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Or maybe not. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell <laughs> if you think that this was very educational. Or if not, then... It's up to you. <laughs> it's your choice. You, you decide. decide. Peace, Peace and, and love. love.